All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about boost foolers, when you should run it, when you shouldn't run it, and what vehicles need them and which ones don't. Uh, when we talk about boost foolers, we only recommend them for 7.3 trucks. And there's a specific reason why they run them, and it's because the PCM, if it sees more than a certain amount of boost, it'll throw a check engine light and it'll start pulling fuel. Uh, we see a lot of misinformation where people say, well, just get a decent tuner and they'll turn that off. It doesn't really exactly work that way. If you turn off that light and you turn off those tables, then you lose what's called low boost fueling tables. And low boost fueling tables are used to help the truck spool faster, run cleaner, and help overall better drivability. What the low boost fueling tables do is as you have low boost levels, it only adds a certain amount of fuel. So it matches the air to fuel, and when you have the right air to fuel ratio, the truck spools faster, runs cleaner, and makes more power. Without a boost fooler, if you were to just mash the pedal, it's gonna dump a lot of black smoke, it's gonna spool slower and run hotter. Overall, it could ruin the driving experience. I've had a lot of customers switch back and forth between tunes that don't need a boost fooler and tunes that do need a boost fooler, and they often report back that the truck drives so much cleaner and so much better with a boost fooler. So yes, tuners can turn that off, but when you do, you lose your low boost fueling tables. Now there are three main types of boost foolers, at least the three types that we see the most. There is the electronic kind, which actually fools the electronics. It plugs into the sensor. There is the blow off style, where it creates a boost leak by popping off a pop off valve and it relieves all the excess pressure. And then there's the regulator style. It's the first kind I ever ran. We actually, my first one, I went to Home Depot and bought a regulator and I just stuck it in line and I turned it down to the point where the PCM wouldn't see over 24 pounds of boost. Now there can be some problems seen with each one of the boost uh, foolers. One is with the regulator style type. If you tighten it too much, uh, I've actually had mine vibrate and tighten all the way closed and I lost all my power and I couldn't figure out why and that's because the map sensor was not seeing boosts anymore. The blow off valve style, the thing I don't like about it is it creates a boost leak when it pops open. Although it's a small boost leak, it still is a boost leak and as a turbo builder, we don't like boost leaks, they rob power. So. What about 6.0s? What about 6.7s, 6.4s? We don't recommend boost foolers for them. There is no reason to do that. In fact, we've had customers that had major tuning issues where they stick a turbo on, they add a tune, they just don't run right. And uh, after many hours of diagnosing and looking into it, the customer mentions they have a boost fooler and the second you pull that off, it runs right. It is important for the PCM in those trucks to see the correct boost levels because it uses boost readings to control the veins. And if you're not seeing the right boost readings, then you can't control the veins right. So we do not recommend boost foolers on 6.0, 6.4s, and 6.7. There's really no need for it. There's no over boost code that's gonna cause it to pull fueling. All the tuning will take care of all that, adding the, the boost to match the fuel so that your truck runs correctly.